Back in 2018, I started getting really sick. Um, I was actually driving back from a concert in Las Vegas and started getting extremely nauseous and lightheaded and just started feeling like I was going to pass out. He uh, went from November to April in that period of time and lost 70 pounds. He was unable to walk on the couch, losing muscle mass. And at that point, my husband and I were literally frightened. His headaches were so intense. His vomiting was so intense. So that meant he needed meals. He needed just the regular day-to-day -day physical. And then the emotional. When you are sick for that long, you stop remembering what it feels like to be healthy and you just kind of assume this is the rest of my life. There were multiple times when I was trying to decide how much it would be worth to keep living. All of the enjoyments you can think of in life were just gone. I'm not going to be able to go to any more concerts. I'm not going to be able to go out with friends ever again. Any of the foods that I enjoy eating are going to make me sick. We watched the anxiety of, hey, I'm in finals. I can't even walk with my class. I'm, I'm stuck on the couch. There were actually doctors here in our hometown, and they diagnosed him with IBS, anxiety, depression, and there's really nothing you can do about it. There was just no urgency at all which was extremely frustrating. And that is the, the definite difference that SSM Health and Dr. Kinsella made in my life is they gave me my health back. They gave me my life back. I was connected to SSM Health and Dr. Kinsella through my sister-in-law. She's been seeing a Dr. Weinstock. Uh, he's a gastroenterologist. Dr. Weinstock called me at 11 o'clock in the morning. He said, I've cleared a schedule from eight to 10 with one of the finest doctors, um, Dr. Kinsella with the SSM Health. We had an exceptional experience. And so we went in to the, the room with Dr. Kinsella. It was my husband, myself, and Nick. And we were just all three kind of in a row. And Dr. Kinsella was kind of knee to knee. He just sat right across from us and he has talked to us. Two hours later, he had an idea, a pretty good idea of what was troubling Nick. And so he scheduled um, imaging and he scheduled actually to have a patch for his spinal cord. And then he shook Nick's hand and he just pulled him near and said, you're in the right place. And Nick was blown away. It's like, he believes me. Like, it's not in my head. I know it's not in my head, and a doctor believes me. And that changed it for us. Like, we knew they were going to advocate for us, and they were going to help do everything they could to get him well. They treat patients and not diseases. So they treated me as a person. They looked at me and said, OK, where are you? Where do you want to be? And how are we going to get you there? They diagnosed me with mast cell activation syndrome um, and also with a thoracic CSF leak. Um, and so that's actually where there's a hole in your spine and you have some fluid leaking out of the lining. Um, and so they had to go in and kind of seal that up. SSM Health means so much to us because of a very real reason. And it's almost hard as a mom to say and to express, but Nick planned on disappearing. And he's told me several times that the way that I felt before I was diagnosed it is not physically possible to live that way for 50 years. For me to exist the rest of my life that way isn't physically possible. It's not mentally possible. SSM Health gave us hope and actually the light, like the light at the end of the tunnel, like there's something that we're moving forward and they're helping us towards that's gonna get him to wellness. And that's what they gave us. We got Nick back. Honestly, if I could say anything to Dr. Kinsella and SSM Health, it's that they saved my life. They, they gave it back. They allowed me to find meaning in it. It's just opened up my life. Um, it's allowed me to return to outdoor activities. It's allowed me to return to playing the guitar. This summer and this next year, I've started teaching and having my patient experiences, I've been trying to break them out of, okay, what do I do to maximize the amount of points I get? and start having them think about, no, what is going to be best for the patient and for their outcomes. So I want people to know that what they donate tonight will make a difference 
it will go to people that need it.